chapter 3 motion in a straight line. Here kinematics, kinematics means it is the, nothing but the description of motion in which dynamics is the study of the cause of motion. Then what is meant by motion? Motion means it is nothing but the change of position of an object or a substance with time is called as motion. If there is no change in the position of the object with time then we call it as rest. If it is changing the position with respect to a time then that will be called it as motion. Therefore, motion is a change in position of an object with time. In that rectilinear motion, rectilinear motion means the change in position of an object which is taken place along a straight line, rectilinear means it is nothing but a straight line. Therefore, if the motion that means the change in position of an object which is taken place along a straight line then that we call it as a rectilinear motion. Therefore, motion of a body which moves along a straight line, along a straight line means with respect to a one dimension therefore, it is called as the rectilinear motion. For example, if you consider a train which is moving on a track, on a track the train which is moving it will be in one direction or it is a one dimensional or it is a straight line. Therefore, a train which is moving on a track is taken as the rectilinear motion. Next moving to the position, path length as well as the displacement. First we are considering the position. Position means assume that we are considering a particle which is taken on a piece of paper that means we are taking a point on a paper. Now what will be the position of that point? We cannot able to tell the position of the point. To determine the position of the point we are taking a frame of reference or we are considering a reference point. That reference point can be taken with respect to the x axis, y axis and z axis that is from the origin we can take the position of that particular point what we are considered. Therefore, locating an object requires finding its position relative to the reference point. That reference point is often taken as the origin of the coordinate system that is of x, y and z. Therefore, the coordinates x, y, z of the object describes the position of the object with respect to the coordinate axis. With respect to the reference point only we can determine the position of the object. If there is no reference point we cannot able to determine the position of the object. Therefore, the coordinate system along with the with respect to a time constitute a frame of reference. With the, if you are taking with respect to a time then that will be called as the frame of reference. That is about the position. Next moving to the path length or it is also called as the distance. Here the distance travelled by the particle is the length of the actual path travelled by the particle during the motion in a given time interval is called as the path length. That means the distance which is travelled by a particle from one end to another end that will be considered as a path length. For this there is no particular direction, it can be covered in any direction therefore, only the magnitude is taken into consideration not the direction. Therefore, path length or a distance it is a scalar quantity and also it always gives a positive values because we are not taking a direction into consideration therefore, it always gives us to a positive values. For example, if you consider 5 meter we are moving upward and 5 meter we are moving in the right side. Therefore, the total distance will be taken as 5 plus 5 that gives us to 10 meter is the total distance which is taken. That is called as a path length or a distance. Next moving to the displacement. Here 